Great, yeah, pretty excited, ready to uh, see if we can get up the mountain and maybe uh, find a ram, get lucky. Hopefully these guys can get me up the mountain. Hopefully the ram's not too far up the mountain and uh, we can have a little success and kill a big ram. It's definitely gonna be a good day. Any day out here is better than sitting in an office or doing something else, so regardless. They say it's supposed to be pretty hot today, so I guess we'll have to be prepared for that, but uh, yeah, it should be it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Never been here. Never been to this area. Certainly never seen a ram as big as these guys are telling me that they've been uh, they've been watching. So yeah, really excited to see if we can get out there and hopefully get close enough and, and get them. Got here at daylight. Typical thing, right? We thought we were just gonna walk up on a knob, peek over and find our rams and get her done early this right. morning. But didn't happen that way. Now it's midday. Yep. Heat's coming on. We have climbed, we've dropped, we've climbed, and uh, we were gonna start working our way up river. Dan the man stayed high and uh, heard a bonk and peeked over down into a draw and found our band of rams. So. We had literally dropped thousands of feet and we're what a half a mile above the river yeah and we restart working up river but now we gotta climb back yeah. up we needed dan's info 15 minutes earlier yeah I'm, I'm glad we got it but 15 minutes earlier would have been nice yeah <laughs> yeah let's uh i mean you know it's hot and we'll take our time getting up there but let's get up there and see if we can find him we got all day they're in a good spot so. you gotta go, go, shake it up.
That is a shot right there. <laughs> Six five PRC. Well, I tell you, right in his oh, bed. Boy. Huh? Good thanks, shot. Man. Thanks, thanks. That wasn't easy. Yeah. Tough angle. Well, it was just for me, dude. It was just the angle. My fudge was bothering me. Yeah, and it, sometimes but, it's just not perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, that gun went off. Boy, it was, <laughs> I didn't even know it went off. <laughs> that was so nice. Double A is dead. Double A is dead. That's a ram we uh, saw last year. Decided to let him live one more year. Figured this would be the year. He's a big ram. And Aaron just smoked him in his bed. He didn't even know what hit him. He just laid his head straight down and well, dead. Well, it's been a long morning, huh? But we got a dead ram. We do, man. Yeah, you guys put in a lot of effort. You know, we came up, went to where you guys thought you'd seen him. Obviously, they'd moved. You and Dan, I mean, scoured this mountain like I couldn't believe. And you guys found him. <laughs> and you made a hell of a shot. Well, yeah, well, I mean, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was fun. It wasn't a long shot. The gun was perfect. I love that gun you let me use. Thank you so much for that. And, uh, yeah, it worked out great, man. It's a huge ram, and I'm very excited. The cool thing is, is the rest of our team, old Scotty Coos, and Mike Cray, and Billy Goat Beamish just got word that they killed a big mountain goat over in uh, Upper Hell's Canyon today, too. So, dead ram and a dead goat today. Stay tuned. It's a good day. Hey, about it. You know when Mr. Todd Long got the gun set up, that ram's in trouble. <laughs> it worked out good. Congrats, Thank man. you, That's sir. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for flying it for me, man. He's Did a, a good, good one, job. huh? He's a great ram. Yeah, no, oh, he's a stud. Yeah. I'd been on him, you know, recording for three or four minutes and I'd stop, you know, and then start again just in case, you know. And then when you, I just stopped when you said life, and I went, boom! All I saw was the other ram, ram run out on the screen. Uh, he went like, he all he did was put his head down. Yeah, yeah. just smoked him. That is, a, that is a big boy. Holy smokes. Oh. Yeah, he's super heavy. Oh, wow. That is a big ram. Wow. Man. I'm so tired. That it's hard to talk, but. Believe you me, I'm happy. Well, we got her done, Aaron. We did. It, we did. It was a. Uh, it was quite the effort. This is a ram we've been watching. Well, we found this ram a couple years ago, actually, right? And last yes. year, we decided to let him live. Um, Figured we'd try to kill him this year, and we've we found him about a week ago, and uh, we've been tracking him ever since. Aaron had a has a elk tag as well. We couldn't get here for a couple days, so it, it was quite the chore keeping track of this ram. But we got her done today. It wasn't easy. No sir, no sir at all. This is a just an absolute great ram with tremendous mass all the way around. This is the ram Aaron had said he wanted to try and harvest two months ago when we talked, a month and a half ago, and you know, we were fortunate enough to turn him back up. And Todd and Scott have been watching this ram for three days down from the lower ground looking up, and we were fortunate to turn him up today. It took us a while. Yeah, he's kind of kicked us in the guts a little bit this morning, but we just didn't quit. A lot of tenacity, and we made a plan, and Dan stayed high, and Aaron and Rappe and I went low, and just about the time we got all the way to the river, Dan called and said, let's have a sheep party, and we had to climb all the way back up. But That's right, yeah, yeah, that, that, uh, as I mentioned to you right on the spot, I said, tell Dan we could have used that information about 20 or 30 minutes <laughs> earlier before we had gone down and, and had to come back up, but yeah, I just want to thank you guys uh, a lot for the opportunity. It was great. Um, I really had a great time, and yeah, you know, we talked, Dan and I, you know, a month or so ago, and and... He told me about this specific ram, and I said, well, that's definitely the, the ram that I want. And, um, you know, we definitely got here. You guys obviously did all the work. I mean, finding him, keeping track of him for the last couple of days until I could get here. 
um, helping me get up the hill with all my stuff. And so I really, really owe a lot to you guys for the opportunity to be here and, and harvest this, you know, which is to me a ram of a lifetime and will probably be the biggest ram I ever see or ever kill. So I, I thank you guys very much. And, you know, this Hell's Canyon area here in Idaho is certainly famed for big rams, and this is why. And uh, thanks to you guys, we found them and, and put them on the ground today. So thank you. It's not easy getting around in this country either. I mean, it's it's just roll after roll, but it's it's a lot of work. It is, and it's hot. You know, it's really it's supposed to be 90 today, which is, you know, it's not easy climbing these mountains when it's you know hot like that. But uh, you know, you guys, Stan was up above and kept the eye on them, and we knew we had a. Uh, Todd just kept saying, "Man, you know, we know he's there, so just do what you can to get up there." And we certainly made it. And uh, Here's the result. Yep, and actually, uh, Aaron and Calvin are good buddies, good yeah. right? So uh, Calvin's actually the one that told you about the ram uh, early in the spring. Yep. Um, Calvin was with Dan and I last spring, last spring when we originally found this ram. So it's just from one guy to, from the top to the bottom, it, it takes everybody. Yeah, yeah. Calvin's the the guy that got me interested in this ram back in back in March. Yep. Yeah. And so yeah, but um, from camp to you know all the instruction you had given me prior to getting here, Dan. You know, the communication, you know, seeing how professional camp was when I got here. All the guys you had, your cameraman, um, it's been first class all the way. And, and I got a first class ram, and I just can't imagine how anybody could have expected anything better. So thank you. Yeah, Absolutely. thank you. You know, one of the things we always talk about is teamwork. And it just, you cannot pull these hunts off without a, a unified team working together. It takes every aspect from the guy on top to the guy at bottom to the guy back at camp. And, that's what makes these hunts successful all the time. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people realize, you know, they they see on a lot of these sheep hunts where you've got a group picture, and and I don't think they realize really how difficult an area like this would be to hunt by yourself. To think you could come here just strictly individually and hike it, glass it, find it, locate them, I mean, I, I think it would be a near impossibility. So, yeah, you know, you guys really put together a good team, and uh, and again, the results between my ram and the ram you took two days ago obviously speak for itself. Well, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate you trusting us, Aaron. You we bet. Had a great time. You bet. Yeah, I had a great time too. Hopefully, I mean, someday what, down the road we get to do this again. I hope so, but yeah. I mean, you know, what more can I say than <laughs> this right here? It'd be awful hard to beat that one. Yeah, right. 10 and a half, 11 year old ram. Well, now the work begins, boys. Huh? Okay. Yeah. All right.